What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a quick two to three minute fantasy football breakdown of whichever player you selected because this is a pre-recorded intro. Now if you want to see a more in-depth breakdown of whatever player you selected it'll be in the description below or a notification on top. I've done a previous video on most players so you can find it anywhere on the channel. If you like what you see today please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. We have plenty of fantasy football content coming your way before your drafts so let's stay tuned and let's get to the video. All right, at number 10 overall, I have Julio Jones. Now, I just wanna say this. I still think Julio Jones is a great player. He truly is elite. Now, there's not a lot of receivers like him. He's huge. He runs almost as fast as anybody in the NFL. He's a real specimen. I mean, he's a real unicorn at the receiver position. Let's just look at the track record. He's had at least 1,400 yards or more in the past six seasons. Now, last season technically didn't count because he finished at uh, 1,394, six yards short. But he didn't play all 15, uh, 16 games. He played. He missed one. So I'm guessing in that one game, he would have got six yards to get over 1,400 yards, which is amazing. I don't know if that's ever been done before. Maybe Jerry Rice. That's probably about it. Julio Jones, if you go back and you just go on YouTube and type in 2019 highlights, you're still going to see him. You know, it's he didn't drop anything. He didn't lose anything. He still is great. He's still an amazing receiver. So after saying all this of Julio still not losing a step and being in the same offense and all these big things of how great he is and 1,400 yards, why is he going so low? Low at my number four receiver and 10 overall. And you have to notice... The lack of touchdowns have been an issue for Julio his whole career. Fantasy, you need touchdowns to be productive. His career high is 10, and that was back in 2012. That was almost a decade ago. Since 2012, he scored two touchdowns, 6-8-6, six, 3-8-6. Eight, six, eight, six. So he's pretty much giving you six to eight touchdowns every year, which is good, but I know a lot of receivers that do a lot better. So that's always the big concern. A reason why I have Devontae Adams at, I believe, number seven on my list, or eight, I believe it's eight, eight on my list, is because I know that if Devontae Adams puts together the big season where he gets the 1,200 to 1,300 yards, he's probably going to get me 10, 11, 12 touchdowns like he has. I mean, in seasons where he hasn't even gotten 1,000 yards, he scored 12, 10, and 13 touchdowns. Julio Jones has never got past 10. So, you know, Julio Jones is going to be a rocky, you know, receiver because of lack of touchdowns. <clears throat> you know, he's a boomer good receiver, I would say. He never really busts. Last year, he had two games of under 10 points, which is good in PPR leagues. And he had five games over 25 points, which is really great as well. But he hasn't finished as the wide receiver one in a long time either, you know. When you're drafting a first-round player, you really look for guys that have the potential boom. They have the potential, I can finish number one overall in my position. And I don't know if Julio really has that ability. These are his finishes from 2012 on. 11th, injured. He played only played five games. Sixth, second. He would have been the wide receiver one that year, but him and Antonio Brown outscored everybody by like 50 points, and he lost to Antonio Brown by five. Six, seven, four, and three. So those are really good finishes, but never the wide receiver one, which not knocking him, but it's kind of like the Ezekiel Elliott thing. If you watch that breakdown, which you can check it out, Zeke in the last two years has never finished an individual week as the number one RB. Now Julio Jones has, but I'm just saying is he's not consistently giving you these humongous booms. He has them, but they're not always consistent. And he'll probably never finish as the best at his position. And lastly, I mean, listen, he's age 31. He's going on age 31, not saying he's going to fall off, but usually Around 30, 31, 32, that's when people start to fall off, running backs especially, and wide receivers. I mean, either they start to fall off or they can play until they're 35. Like I said, last year, from what I saw last year, Julio Jones did not really lose much at all, if anything. So if you want a locked-in top seven wide receiver, Julio Jones is your man. He's pretty healthy. You know, he gets a little beat up, but never misses really, hasn't missed time in a long time. Like, can sick, like major games, hasn't missed him in a long time. Just be ready for stretches without touchdowns. I mean, it's going to come with Julio Jones. And when you do get touchdowns, boy, congrats. You won your game. You know, you won your fantasy matchup because he probably scored two. So good luck with the ups and downs. But just know at the end of the day, you're probably going to be pushing 1,400 yards, over 100 catches, and six to eight touchdowns.